You know, they just shot somebody in Patterson uh, not too long ago. Um, so, where I am right now is called Fourth Ward. You see? So, that's where I am right now. So, I'm passing the BP gas station where she usually is. See that gas station right there? That is a drug infested place. So is this area over here. This whole area is infested with drugs. Uh, just people outside, you know, completely urbanized and just disgusting what these people do in front of the cops. And the cops don't do anything. They just, I've seen some cops do something like looking for guns and stuff. You got some really nice cops, some really responsible cops who care about the city. And, uh, but you see how there's no cops in this, in this street here. There's no cops because this is a very bad neighborhood. See, th I haven't seen one cop car since I've been here. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just, looking for Vicky. So I'm making a right on 18th Street. This is Rosa Parks Boulevard. This is also a very bad neighborhood. This is the church where they get drugs from. Actually, I'm going to make a right over here because this is Van Houten that I'm going to. And this is also, there's pimps here. They pimp these girls out over here. I can't even imagine somebody pimping out my daughter. Go. No, 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 go. I can't even imagine somebody pimping out my daughter. Son of a bitches. But that's what they do. Slime balls. Ratchet ass. I hope they all go to hell. All of them. I guess this is Carroll Street. This would be called Carroll Street, but you see, this is this is where they go. This is a place where uh, I see a lot of prostitution here. There's a lot of stuff going on here, so I'm just trying to find Vicky right now, I'm trying to see where she is. Uh, see, there's a cop car right there. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just going around. Who knows? I mean, there might be cops now who come, you know? Who knows? And look at that poor, poor woman. I don't know. Oh, who knows? Oh, that's a kid. Oh, boy. If you're gonna raise your kids here, you gotta be so careful. Oh, my God. So, anyway... Look, I'm from Washington Heights. I was born in a bad neighborhood. In the 80s, they used to have crack bottles on the floor. But I never knew that I'd be dealing with this with my own daughter. What I have to worry about where she is, who she's with. My whole body is so nervous. Uh, I feel like throwing up. Because I don't know where she is. You know what I mean? But there was a shooting here. Somebody got shot like nine times. They don't know who. But nine times. And, and uh, there's been a lot of shootings here lately. But, so I made that right in Rosa Parks thinking I was going to see her. So I'm going to go straight ahead. I don't know, I guess I have to go everywhere because, you know, I don't know. I just really hate these people. I really do. I think they're just horrible people. I just think they just have no morals. No matter where you're from, that's, that's Prostitution Hotel right there. This roadway in. A lot of prostitutes go in there, in and out. This is 18th Street. 
this is where these pimps, these disgusting animals, I shouldn't even call them animals because animals are so much better than them. I don't know why I call them that. Look at this. Oh God, help me. I just want to cry. I want to cry. I want to cry. I really do because these people are so disgusting. And really, it's just, who's that? Oh my God, I got scared. Oof. I thought that was Vicky. Oh my God, liquor, a liquor shop is open. Here we go now. going to go inside the Walgreens. This is another spot I gotta go to. So I'm actually gonna make a left here. Go inside the Walgreens here and see if I spot my daughter. There's some kind of white car over there. This Walgreens is so corrupted. It's crazy. This is like an open gateway to hell, this Walgreens. You have so many prostitutes, so many drug dealers. So many pimps, so many people just all over the place. Look, you know, it's, it's just horrible. So I'm looking to see. Oh my God, I just want to cry. I really want to cry. sucks <laughs> what sucks is when you want to go to sleep and you can't sleep because you just keep thinking oh my god is my daughter out there is she prostituting is she doing drugs you know what is she doing you know and it, it sickens me and I, I you know I can't put myself to sleep but it's not the kind of sleep you think it's the kind of sleep where you're just sleeping because you have to sleep or you're for, you force yourself to sleep. But the kind of sleep I would like is like that peaceful sleep, you know, where you're just, oh, you're just so comfortable and you know that you can sleep, you know, like that kind of sleep where you're just so comfy. Okay, here we go. So now I'm going to make a left on Van Helton. There's a lot of trap houses here. So I found out that there's a lot of, uh, also there's a lot of places with homelessness here. A lot of homelessness here. A lot, a lot of homelessness. So they live in these houses uh, that are obviously built or some way or whatever. You just saw a bunch of them. Oh. You know what, I'm gonna pass that house and I'm gonna act crazy and I'm gonna say if my daughter's there. I'm just gonna say. I'm just gonna, I don't care. You know what I mean? I'm gonna pass it again because this guy was behind me. But I'm just gonna be like, do you have Vicky there? You know? Do you have a Victoria there? You know, I'm just gonna ask. See what happens. I thought that guy, I thought that garbage can was a pimp. What was the difference, right? Garbage pimp, same thing. So of course I'm gonna think that. I'm passing that same street again. Okay, not there. All right, I'm gonna pass Van Houten again and I'm going to ask. kids here you can't see sorry you can't see I don't have a very good camera so unfortunately uh, you're not gonna see everything but listen I'm just trying to find my daughter and I have this camera on just in case something happens and I'm documenting everything um, I'm not a professional but you know whatever you know it is what it is and I try my best 
to show people what it's like in this Patterson city, disgusting city. I'm not saying I'm not saying that everyone that lives in Patterson is disgusting. I'm saying that everything that happens around this particular neighborhood is absolutely disgusting. It is so openly disgusting that you just really have to take these people that deal the drugs and you have to exterminate them with something. That that's how disgustingly saturated this whole city is and nobody's doing a damn thing about it you're letting these people do drugs right in front of your face you're letting these girls prostitute right in front of your face you're letting people overdose right in front of your face and nothing's being done there's no changes nothing so here i go again right on 18th street here we go now i just start to get mad because I hate this. I literally hate this now for my life. I hate it. Look at all these kids. It looks like, I don't know. Oh, now I gotta go over here. Let's see if I can talk to those people that I saw. Let's see, I pulled over here. I'm gonna pull over here right now. Okay, I'm going to ask those people outside if they know where my daughter is. Mm -mm -mm. I am so nervous. Oof. Hi, excuse me, is this 435? 435? Oh, I'm looking for my daughter. Have you? Do you know a Victoria Singer? You don't know anybody like that? Or a Latoya Johnson or anybody? I'm looking for my daughter. She's, she's a white girl. She's got bright blue eyes. She talks like a baby. She's got like a really... She's got like a baby voice. She's a fair skinned girl. You know, she changes her clothes all the time. But I know last time she had like a sweatpants on, sandals. She was with the. Huh? I don't, that's the thing, I don't know. I haven't seen her. And she was with, they told me one of these houses, it's like a, I guess they, they have like a duplex. No, no, 435, I think, was where they call. So this is 435 here. All right, I'm just going to keep looking. Thank you. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. So I'm just hoping that I just opened the door to something, so that's why I asked like that. Because they're not going to tell me, you know what I mean? They're going to talk now. They're going to talk around. And they're gonna say, oh, yo, yeah, oh, shit, you this the girl? This is the girl? Is this the girl you're talking about? Shitheads. I hate these people. Oh my God. And, oh, and please, don't make, don't call me a racist. Listen, I got black people in my family and I'm Hispanic. Okay, so don't call me a racist. But, you know, um, I'm not talking about African Americans like being disgusting. I'm talking about people that deal drugs being disgusting. Because I have one guy say, oh, you think because I'm black, you think you're better than me? And I'm like, no, I think because you're trying to pit my daughter, you're a piece of shit. Regardless of you being white, black, Italian, whatever you are, I just want my daughter. She's got me sick. This girl has me so sick to my, to my stomach. I hate this. Now I got to go ahead. Go, 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 go. I can't see. Thank you. So anyway, um, anyway, so now I'm going down this stupid block. I don't know what this shit is. This shit hole of a block. I say to myself, 
myself, you know what, I'm not going to do this anymore. I say that sometimes, you know. I go, I'm not doing this shit no more. I'm done. I wish. I wish I was done. I can't stand these people. That's all I can say. I just can't stand them. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you, Vicky? Where are you? Oh, I just want to spend a day, you know what I mean? Where I'm just like, oh God, relax. Where I'm just feeling relaxed, you know? I hate going, coming to this neighborhood, but she keeps making me. She keeps making me come to this neighborhood. She keeps coming. Oh, it's like Beverly Hills to her. I don't understand. I'll never understand this. God, why can't just why can't just somebody call me and say, you know what? <laughs> She's getting help. She's getting help. She's in the hospital. You know why? So I don't have to worry anymore. I don't have to be like worried and and doing this crap and going around. That's for sure. Lord have mercy on me. Who knows? You know, they could shoot me too. They could shoot me and say, oh, this girl's taping us. They could think I'm a cop or something undercover. I don't know. What? That was one cop car I saw here. I don't see any other cop cars. Just one cop car for this whole big neighborhood. This for this whole pile of shit. This whole toilet. This whole toilet. I call it the toilet. God have mercy on me. God have mercy on me. That my stomach is ill. Do you think I want to make that right here? No, I don't, but I have to. <sighs> I should have asked that guy where Vicky is. I asked him before and he's like, all the girls are over there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All the girls are over there? Okay, I got you now. I got you. Where is Victoria? I don't know. Oh, my goodness. But she does this all the time. All the time to me, and it's torturous. I have to be careful where I go because this is a very bad neighborhood right here. This is all drug dealers over here on the side over here. Oh my god. They are like, you know, they're not selling candy. I mean, obviously, if they're looking in the car, oh, are they going to be selling me Girl Scout cookies? No. You know, the cops could do something. They could give these people a curfew. They could, they could limit how people hang out in the street here. You know what I mean? They can set boundaries, you know. They can do something. Nobody's stupid. 